A ver, tía, ¿va a comer hamburguesa? Sí. Mami, ¿de quién es esa? ¿Cuál, ¿El qué? ¿Esto? Ah, eso. ¿Esto es mío? <ríe> preguntó, le preguntó el nombre. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Es tuyo? Sí. ¿Te quieres ver? A ver, sí. Gracias. Oh, pues. Va a salir sin ¿Quién ¿Qué es 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 Wow. Es una pero hecha en casa. In and out en México. In and out Mexican, in and out. ¿Estás con chile, Julián? Ajá. Uh -huh. Are you excited, Dad? Oh, yeah, really, absolutely. Quería comprarles un... Mexican, in and out. ¿Qué pasó, hijo? Ya le iba a comer plato. ¡Ya! No. Dad, tell me where you are. Where you make a... El león en los tepetates. Ah. El alumbrado número uno de aquí, del, de los tepes. Yeah. Pero ahorita no vayas a grabar para allá porque así va a dar miedo. Why? Oh, no. A mí me gusta... I like this street. Oh, yeah. I Ya, es nice. Nos tocó suerte. Porque está bien chévere ahorita. Ya, yeah, está bonito. Nos tocó. Buen gusto. Vamos a dar vuelta para allá. Oh, hell no. Va. Hi, guys. Si la principal la estamos dejando. De veras teníamos a plática. No, no, no. ¿Qué tal si? Good morning. Um, so, waking up in León, Guanajuato is beautiful, to be honest. Um, I didn't really vlog too much yesterday because. We got here super early. We ate. Um, we were so exhausted. And then I personally took a nap. And then they went to go like buy candy and stuff. So I didn't really want to go. Um, and then we stayed home all day. So it was pretty chill, you know. But I was really tired. I just vlogged a little bit at night. And then we went to sleep. Um... But yeah, this morning we're waking up to some coffee. We're gonna go visit a couple of places that my dad wants us to visit. And then we're gonna start getting ready for the wedding. Um, so I'm super excited. <laughs> to get ready I have to do my makeup and then when they get back I have to get my mom and my aunt ready so that's gonna take forever but just to show you a couple of things that I brought for my trip so I did translucent powder some powders and bronzers a couple of foundations in different colors um, and I can always mix them just in case concealers primers uh, primer BB cream brow items Bronzer, blush, I don't know what else is in there. Shave tape. Single lashes. These are for my aunts because they're not going to wear. They don't like to wear full on lashes, so this is good. And I have eyelash extensions, so I don't need them. And then, yeah, eyeliner. I don't know, other stuff. And then my soft glam palette because this goes with anything, so I know that I'll be good. Straightener, hair items, lipsticks. And glosses. Um, oh, these are like, I don't know, like Advil, deodorant, wipes. Um, this is lotions, perfume, skincare, and more single lashes. And then my brushes are in the bottom here. But yeah, and then my benefit mirror. 
Down the street of where my dad lives, there's at the end, there's a university that's new and it literally looks like the ones in the US. And it's really nice. So what they're doing is my dad has land that he bought a long time ago. So with that land, um, my dad and his youngest brother have are working on creating dorms. It's like a it's like a big building and their rooms and it's literally like any other dorm in the US but it's a little bit smaller than obviously the ones in the US but and then in the bottom they're they're gonna have um what's it called they would have to park their cars um um washer and dryer and then we would hire um, well actually they're not gonna hire because i think my aunts yeah like and grandma would um cook food in the mornings lunch and dinner so they're gonna be having like meals that they can actually get and they're gonna have cleaning services which comes from my family so it's literally like a whole business going on there and um that's coming out of like you know the students pocket out of the students pocket or their parents i don't know how that works because obviously i guess you have to have some sort of money to go to some a school like that but i really wanted to show you guys how that looked um i've already seen it my aunt hasn't so that's why they wanted to take her um but it's a really cool project so my my uncle here um you know is is doing all the business on that and then my dad's just bringing in the money from the US but it's really cool and it's such a smart idea So we have to do that. Um, my dad went back, I think. But here's my outfit. And then I have like this really cute back piece. I you can see it. I did it. I made it. <laughs> 
through rocks and dirt and all that. I did it, I'm a trooper. But I'm so excited um, for tomorrow. Actually, I feel like I'm so tired that I just kinda wanna go home now, but no, it doesn't stop here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up real quick and then we'll see what's next. So I pretty much wanna talk about something that happened last night that I wanted to talk about in the morning but I couldn't because of my mom. But yeah, so last night, um, right after we ate burgers, everybody was just pretty much hanging out outside and a dog, a dog comes in, stray dog obviously. And by the way that he was running, with like a, you know how puppies do like a little skip to their run? You can tell that he was a puppy and everybody starts just closing the doors of the house um, so that he won't come in. But there was something wrong with the dog because he kept coming in and was looking for any door to walk into when he was crying. And stray dogs don't usually do that. Um, they'll like kind of sniff around and you can tell they just are looking for food. No, this dog was scared. He was shaking. Um, there was something wrong, you know. It's not our house, so we're just not gonna be like, keep it in here, you know. It's not our house, it's not our rules. We, the kids would literally like, shoo him away, he'd come right back, he didn't care. Or they took like, bones to like, the outside of the house so that he can eat. And they came right back inside doing the same exact thing. So he ate and then still wanted to come back inside. We were gonna go to sleep and we go upstairs and we're like, okay, we're tired, let's knock out. And then we hear the same dog and you can tell it's the same dog because we had heard him cry the first time so we knew it was the dog and you can just hear like whines like loud whines and they were just like silent and they would be like oh. Oh. like it was just like like a burst of like a cry and I literally could not sleep with the dog crying like that outside it felt like he was right outside so I was like what the hell and um, I literally told my mom, I was like, somebody's hitting that dog. They're hitting him. And we go outside. And I look out the, the window because I thought there, he was going to be right down, like, in our, like, area, like, in our property. Um, so I look down. It's, it's not there. But I walk outside. Me and my mom walk outside. And the two, there's two men next door. First, I was like, okay, they want to kick the dog out. Like, I get it. Not everybody you know, likes dogs, stray dogs in their house. I'm like, you know, I see a man with gloves and a shovel, big shovel, big shovel, shovel. And once I saw that, oh my God, my heart literally sunk to my stomach. I knew that that man was hitting the dog with that big shovel, like, hitting it i was like what the f is he doing like i literally wish i could cuss in spanish in front of my mom but i just don't have the balls to because i think it's very disrespectful so i was just cussing in english like mother like what the f are you doing like and i don't think they they could hear us but um yeah so they finally got the dog and the, they had the dog from the tail from the the sound of the dog that they grabbed it from the tail and kicked it like like a like a ball like a soccer ball like i felt so bad like i, I instantly started to cry um but then i see the dog just running away and i was like okay well at least he's out you know he's gone like go, like go 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 like just run and um so then the man the two men just like try to follow it for some reason and i just hear one man say like just throw a rock at it, like in Spanish. I was like, why? Like, why are you gonna do that? It's already out of your property. Like, why are you chasing the poor puppy? Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like sick, dude. So then the man with the gloves is literally chasing the dog, like, out to like the the land. Like, it's like really, really long, and kills the dog, kills it with two big shovels to the head. Yeah, me and my mom just start to bawl. Like, like what made you go out and kill it like that like like what in your right mind was like you know what just to finish it off let me go kill it like it was already out of your property like you didn't have to do that he didn't deserve to go like that you know like he doesn't deserve to be a stray dog 
um, but he didn't deserve to go like that. It was just very cruel. And the saddest part of it all is that it's there. People are used to that, I guess. That's what they do here. And um, it was really hard for me to like hear that, you know, like. I, and I do understand there's a lot of stray dogs. There is a whole bunch of stray dogs. We actually saw like two white ones that you can tell like they're like half poodle or something. And where me and my mom were like, man, if those dogs were groomed, they would be so cute. But yeah, like they have like knots and like they're super dirty, but there's a lot of stray dogs and we get it. Like there's too many stray dogs, but the dog was just a puppy, you know, he didn't deserve that. And that man, Oh, we wish some bad karma upon him that night, last night. It was really bad. Mira, ¿dónde está la llavecita de acá? mil pesos son como 70 pesos 70 dólares 70 eh, más o menos oh, damn. Wow. es que yo quería ir a, yo quería un masaje allá pero está a mil no si sí está está expensive está expensive ya yeah. man Yesterday, um, when we were when we going back to the wedding or coming back from the wedding, I don't remember. But anyway, um, my skin is really bad. I don't think it likes Cancun weather. It's too like humid. But anyway, um, on our way back to the wedding, my dad was driving through this. That this was back in Laon, where he's from in his hometown. There's like this really weird, sketchy like street and I mean every street there is pre it's pretty sketchy you know like not safe um, but yeah he was driving really he was going pretty fast or at least we f we thought he wasn't but it I guess he was going pretty fast and then hits like this really hard um, bump I don't know and um, I was in the middle so I ended up getting hurt really bad to the point where like my head 
hit the top of the car really hard so my neck is like effed up at this point um and i didn't feel it till um that night a little bit but then i just took some edibles and then this morning again on our flight here to uh, cancun i felt it really bad especially like flights are not that easy but um so i decided to like stay in and rest my neck and my aunt gave me like a pomada and um massaged me out a little bit because i have like really bad knots just normally by myself so if my neck is messed up honestly it feels like my whole like body's gonna give up on me um so i think because my neck hurts really bad um honestly i feel like that's making my stomach hurt to the point where like, i feel like i need to throw up or just I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Um, so I I drank so I drank some like charcoal water which is supposed to help and then I bought a green tea so hopefully this helps too. I do feel better. Um, it was hurting way worse but um, it just sucks because I get to like miss out on some stuff but I prefer being safe and not going to the hospital here in Mexico. <laughs> then later regretting it you know for tomorrow morning's um plans we're going to uh escaret i don't know if you say it escaret or that lady at the airport said like charet or something like that got it or something like that she said it something like that apparently it's like disney world in like water so i'm really freaking stoked so i prefer to like rest tonight so that tomorrow i'm like good to go but um, yeah, apparently the people who own Escaret are the same people who own Disney World. So that has to be really good. And we saw a lot of pictures and it looks beautiful. So hopefully um, that's fun. And I'm honestly trying my best to do a little both of vlogging and enjoying it. Enjoying everything that's happening like at that moment, you know. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Um, so we have two more days here tomorrow and the next day so that should be fun oh i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to take my camera tomorrow to be honest because we're gonna be in the water so much but i'll see um if not i'm gonna try to vlog on my phone because i know for a fact that i'm gonna take my phone um on like my, my water carrier so yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow bye